What's up, what's up, my good people? This is your girl, Miss Good News, right here live on What's Good. We really want to know. We're not asking just to be asked, but we really want to know. Y'all, we got a guest right here. <laughs> our very own, and when I say our very own, I'm talking about WLJT 107.1 FM Livingstone College Multimedia Director. Oh, I'm talking him up. I'm talking him up. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Symphony. <laughs> Yeah, Keith Anderson, Symphony, Symphony Media. Symphony Media. We all want to know. It's been nagging at us. All of the people in the world wants to know <laughs> how and why did you pick Symphony? Or did somebody else pick that name? My parents picked the name when I was about 10 or 11 years old. When they just left. Mm. I was making beats, and one of my first few beats was Symphony. Like, I was writing music. It wasn't no beats. It was actually he was right. Symphony, stop playing with him. And as you see here, Symphony Media to the back of us. <laughs> I love it. So y'all, let me tell y'all, this is your girl Miss Good News right here with What's Good every Wednesday. We doing it at six because this man right here is committed to the church. But we'll get into that. We we'll get into that. Now. We're gonna get into that. But we had to do it at six. But it's every Wednesday at seven with your girl Miss Good News. Come on here, get you an interview. And then after the interview, hit the stage. That's what we're doing right here. This is a new thing, baby. So tell them, tell them about church. Why are you so committed? For people who don't know you, they wouldn't know that you give your time from Sunday and on the other. I ain't gonna tell them all you business. I don't want them to try to find you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I no, I just I just felt like God gave me a real true blessing. And I have to serve him first. So I give God my first. I make sure that I'm in church on Sundays and on Wednesdays because he blesses the, everything else that I do. Mm, I, and we're going to pause for the audience in the back because I felt someone getting excited. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, seriously. Y'all better make sure your priorities are together because it is important to have that yeah, foundation. That's been great. And yep. if they don't know, how did you get into church growing up? I know, but they don't know. Let them know. <laughs> Both of my parents were pastors at a church that was beside my house. So I grew up in the church, like literally right, I, I, we shared the grass. I had to cut my grass and then I had to cut the church's grass. Now Take the church's know. trash out, mm. play the drums for the church, then I became the sound guy for the church. So. And, the, and that goes right into sound. Because if you don't know, Symphony Media has done so much, especially in the COVID time. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when you was really working out here. Doing a lot of live streams. A lot of live streams. What do you feel about it now? You think that it's still yeah, I mean, it's something that once you start it, you can't just go away from it. People still want that live stream. The grandmas who still want to sit on the couch and watch it, they still want to sit on the couch and watch it. Yeah. There's still people going to church on live stream. Come on, talk about it. That's me. I'm <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you can't just cut it off. You know, you some people just figured out that's the new thing, but it's something that's, you know, it sticks. Mm, I love it. I'm glad that it sticks. I'm going to tell you something else. Get into the fact that you are an engineer. You are a producer. Like, what? Tell them about that part of your life. I'm an engineer producer. I've produced since I was 11, 12 years old. Have a, a couple credible production credits out there, but um, you know, I went on tour for a little bit and you know, made some beats. So you don't want to give him too much because when he does this, that means I'm not trying to give him too much. But it's a lot. Of you know, I say I went on tour with Cash Money. Yes, he did. For three years. Yes, he did. <laughs> Listen, we don't have no cue cards in the back, but they are laughing and they are excited and entertained. Hopefully, you are. And if you just tapping in, this is your girl again, Miss Good News with What's Good with Symphony of Symphony yeah. Media. Symphony, now tell yeah. us about the radio station because we know that you want to direct here. Okay, thank you well, for joining me. Well, you know, boys. we have a radio station here at Livingstone College that's owned by the college. WLJZ 107.1 FM, which means you could turn it in your dials in your car on the FM channel, or you can see us online, WLJZ1071.com, or find us on any app, Apple Music, whatever, just type in WLJZ, you'll find us, we're Google. We're Google. I can only do it once, that's all I got in there. But you know, this is our radio personality for our radio station, so yes. Yes, Miss Good News, right here. Wonderful, wonderful. I love, so what does it, it feel like? And I'm not making this about me because this is obvious. 
most of your interviews. No. But what no. does it feel like to work with Mr. Nuts? Yeah. It, it's it? so fun. I tell you what. The days I come in a little slow and sluggish, she's on 10 already. First thing in the morning. It's wonderful just because you get give all of us that spirit. You know. I mean, because I'm like, Rawr! Yeah, you know, all the time. Y'all say the TikTok. Rawr! You're like, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. It. All the time. And you are a family man. So tell me, tell them, how do you juggle all of this? I'm talking about church. Ooh, not well. Stop playing with I them. Still finish. Stop playing. I got to do better. You know, I got to do better. But, you know, I try my best. You know, my wife, oh, I love you so much. She so is so patient with me when it comes to my music and my career. You know, she's made sure she's taken care of the fort, held it down. Yes, she has. You know, my daughter, she's 22, got her through college and everything. She, you know, got her job, her career started. And my son, he's 13, and so I'm going to just have to pull him with me. He's actually making beats, so yeah. of course that makes me proud. I know, and she's doing really good. Shout out to Mississippi Media, yeah. making sandwiches for us. <laughs> Yeah, she be making them good sandwiches for the team. Sometimes. The yeah. events that we have to do on some Saturdays and stuff. I love it. Love you. Love but me. what do? But how would you tell? Because we obviously are here at Livingstone College, HBCU. How would you tell students that are juggling so much stuff like you? There's some students here that are really taking care of households back home. Mm -hmm. They trying to get a job and go through college, do their studies. They trying to keep their spirituality on point. What would you say? We back. Okay. <laughs> the, no, the first thing I say is talk to people. If you kind of let people know what you got going on, people will help. Mm -hmm. I know people try to keep everything inside, but I remember when I was like, yo, man, you know, I, I'm I'm going to school at night and I'm doing it. Oh, I can help you with school at night. Or, you know, right. my wife's friend, she um, was telling my wife she wanted to start school and my wife immediately was like, oh, I'll babysit your kids. And that was the major decision for her to start going back to school. Right. was because she automatically had somebody to help with the kids. So sometimes it's about just talking to your peers and people around you who are willing to help. But if you keep it all inside and just feel like you're the only one that's got to juggle everything, that makes it harder on yourself. Okay, so I want to ask you this. Mm -hmm. How do you stay with exclusivity? Y'all like I said that because you, you have to think about that word. That's a tricky one. Mm -hmm. You know we have our tricky words sometimes. But anyway, how do you stay with that? and still make yourself available to the students, to your church members, to your family? How do you, because that's, that's a balance that you got to keep. You have to be able to keep yourself together, stay separated, be ye separated. You know the word now. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, how do you do that? Sometimes I have to just take the time and set it aside for myself or my family or work or what I have going on. And it's, sometimes I block off new people coming in because there's a constant phone call or somebody needing this and needing that, but sometimes I can't take them all. So I have to limit myself on what I'm taking on and projects, even though it could be a whole lot more money doing this one project, but how much time is that project going to take out of everything else I have going on? Right. So sometimes I have to, you know, limit mm -hmm. what I take on. So you prioritize. Yep. So how do, what is your determining factor of prioritizing? Because like you just said, it's not always about monetary gain. It's not always about the money. So what is your determining It's factor? about time. 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 Somebody once told me, prioritize the things that you can get done right now and do it really quickly. Huh. And then focus on the things that are going to take long. I believe that was Miss Good News. I, I'm moved by that I, message. I, I, that message <laughs> moved me. Yeah, no. She, <laughs> she, one time she told us, you know, hey, team, we need to really focus on the things that we can get done now. If it's something that's only going to take you a couple minutes, let's go ahead and knock that out. And I started seeing my list really shorten of things that I needed to get done. I love so it. So thank you. Thank no, you th for that. No, thank you, uh -huh. Symphony, because I'm going to tell you guys, I really love working here at WLJC. And I know this is my show, but it, it it's all a part of me. Everything that I do, I really try to do it with all my life. And I can say that this guy right here, do tell everything. Let's just go down the list. Oh, man. Videos of pictures. He, does, he do that too. Um, sound engineer. He can clean producer. your beat. He's a producer. He, well, I mean, you know, yeah, all those things. That's that's just the gist. But I put stuff together. See, so look, we gonna let him tell you where y'all can find him at. Again, this is your girl, Mister News, right here. What's good, y'all? This is a new thing. Okay, this is a new thing. We're doing this a new way. He sets up. Where the ball? Can we push the button? No, it's okay. We
We have balls, y'all, but don't play with us. Stay with us so you can be on the winning team. Okay, get comfortable, everybody. Symphony Media, S Y N P H A N Y Media. And that's on Gmail. I mean, you know, everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> Instagram, TikTok, Everything. I got a, uh, Twitter, Facebook, you know, Symphony Media. That's it. Okay, this is the last question to wrap this up. Where do you hope to be in the next year? Because, you know, we used to keep people say the next five years, three years, we don't even know who it is. Be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because life happens yeah. to all of us, but it seems like the life expectancy is so much shorter. I'm not saying that for you, yeah, but please. where do you see yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Don't shorten mine. Y'all, but no. we have one. We just over here on this side. But what do you see? In a about? year? In a year. In a year, I expect to be a music executive. So that sums up all the things and the projects I'm working on right now. So in a year, my position and title should just be music executive. Working with a lot of people in the industry. And you've already been working with I'm people, doing it. building, shout out to you. Thank you. Y'all, he got to go to church down there. He got to go to church.